This table cost $179, and this one's under 25 bucks. How you can get the furniture you see in the pages of the catalogs without maxing out your plastic. And that costs about $16 to make. So right about this time of year, we are all getting piles and piles of those spring catalogs, you know, the ones that come in the mail, whether you ask for them or not. And you just can't bear to look through them because well, right now, those catalogs aren't on any of our budgets. Well, today, you don't have to worry because we're going to learn how to make some cool spring things for our home for a fraction of the cost. And here to help us, welcome back to our show, the host of DIY and HGTV's B Original, Michelle Besh. Hey. All right, Michelle. Okay, but those catalogs, even though we're not ordering things out of those catalogs, it's a great place to go for inspiration. That's and true. As you know, whenever you do things yourself, you can usually save quite a bit. So, um, one thing that we are seeing a lot of, of course, time to plant things up, are concrete planners. And we found this planner um, in the catalog. This will cost you $195 to go out and buy it. Yeah, concrete planners, any heavyweight container is going wow. to cost you quite a bit. So you can do it yourself. Go out and purchase a 60-pound bag of Quickcrete cement mix. This costs you less than $4 a bag, and you can make a lot of containers out of one bag of cement mix. You want to mix it with some water. And you want to mix it to the consistency. So yeah. Don't build anything you can't move yourself. That's my motto. But <laughs> mix your cement mix up um, to the consistency of cookie dough. Because you want to be able to mold with it. And then what you're going to use to create this shape for your molds, you're going to use old plastic pots. You can use old plastic mixing bowls. And what you want to do here, yeah, grab that um, non-stick cooking spray. You uh -huh. want to spray the outside of this one. And this is going to keep the concrete mix from adhering to it. You want to spray the inside of this one real quick. There we go. And then you're just going to start adding your concrete mix. You want to build up the bottom of your pot. And you want to do it, see this one here is probably about an inch and a half to two inches thick. Right. You want to give it enough thickness so that it's not going to be fragile. And then you'll just keep building that up. Put and you put this down on in? the inside, and then, and then you'll we continue. Do around. Yep, you continue scooping your mix in around that form. How long do you have before Packing the it cement in there? You, you have a bit of time um, to work with this. You know, you can build this up. You have within you know an hour, so you have plenty of working time with it. Then you're going to want to let it completely set, and then you'll pop it out, and you're going to end up with something that looks like this. And now, I actually liked this one. I, yeah, <laughs> I do, too. This is a very rustic, charming type of a pot. But if you want to finish it off to make it look more like the pots that you're seeing in the catalog, you can sand it down, and then you want to seal it with a sealer, like a polyurethane or a concrete sealer, and then you can paint it. So prime it, put some paint on it, give it a glossy finish to make it look like those glazed pots that you're seeing, and then you will end up with something that looks like that. And that costs about $16 to make. So if you compare the two, we have the one from the catalog, which is $195, and the one you can make yourself for $16.64. <laughs> mine, mine would only cost four bucks plus cooking spray because I actually like this one. <laughs> That's right. I'm a rustic See? girl. And, and you're working with the materials that you have at home. Saves every time. Another piece that we're seeing a lot of in the catalog are, are nature-inspired pieces. A lot of stick furniture, a lot of stick decor, and you can't get a less expensive material to work with than branches from your backyard. We found this great side table in a catalog. This is going to cost you $179 to buy. But if you go out in your backyard, grab some sticks. You can work with any type of branches. You want to make sure, though, that they're solid branches, that they haven't deteriorated or rot. You know, they haven't been sitting on the ground for a while. You want to have something to work with. Cut a variety of branches that are at least an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. You want to have a good material to work with. And then you can create your base for your table very easily. You can use any sort of uh, top. You can buy ready-made tops at the home improvement store very inexpensively. You cool. can cut a piece of wood to whatever shape that you want that you maybe have in the garage. Or you can use um, a top to a table maybe that you have at home that maybe is you know broken on the bottom and recycle just give some new of the legs. pieces. That, yeah, give it new legs, literally, with your branches. And then you can just configure these by screwing them together. You could also use rope or wire, but very easy to build with. 
Three-legged um, table bases are very easy to construct. You can configure them, you know, more branches. You can do just a straight box type of construction. But using your branches from the backyard, these cost you nothing, and you can end up with a great-looking table just and like this. And then you just painted it black. You can leave it natural if you want that rustic look to go with the rustic concrete planner. Or you can paint it, make it a little bit more modern-looking. Just spray some paint on it, seal it with a finish, and then you're ending up with a table that costs about, this is about $24 to make. And if you compare that to the one in the catalog at $179. Pretty good job. Ah, that looks good. I love That's you. It looks good. And I, I love working with things that you find out in the backyard. Well, you know, I live up in the Adirondacks, so this is actually it's a really good one for my husband to do on a weekend. Well, when you take that walk, you'll look at things a little bit differently and think, how could I use that at home? And then I'll ask him to <laughs> do the rest of it. Oh, you can do this. You can no, do this. Very I make easy. dinner. I draw the line there. We're good. <laughs> Another outdoor um, item that people are looking to spruce up their patios are outdoor rugs. And these are very expensive to buy them in for indoors or outdoors. Wow, $775, really? Yes, yes. I think it's a great concept. And, you know, but it's a lot of money. Not a, not a lot of us have $775 to go out and spend yeah. on a rug right now. And until we do, you can create your own very easily by going out and getting, this is linoleum. You can buy this at home improvement stores. Um, you can buy them in ready-made rolls. They're already cut to size, 6 to 9, 9 by 15. And you can get a roll of this for anywhere from 16 to $25. And that is going to be your rug base. And it's great because it's weather resistant, so it's great for an outdoor material. And then all you do, you work on the back side of it. So you don't really care. Oh, so the reverse. The, yeah, so you don't, it, they always have those ugly prints on the outside. So you don't care about that because you're going to work on the back side. All you do is prime it, paint it, and then you can stencil any sort of design that you want on here. You could use um, tape and create some cool stripes, which is very, very easy. And this is an awesome material to paint on. It's nice and smooth. What kind of paint is this? You, you can use leftover house paint. From really? Your, yeah, from the um, rooms that you've painted in your house. If you have artist paints, you can use those. And then you want to seal it good with two or three coats of a polyurethane to make it more durable because you're going to be absorbing foot traffic. So that's like a weekend project. This is very easy. And this material is awesome because you can cut it just with scissors. So mm -hmm. you can cut it to any shape or size that you want. You can create placemats. You can create table coverings for your outdoor patio tables. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And when you're using this um, outside, when it gets wet, it gets a little slippery when you're using it as an outdoor rug. So a tip is when you put your polyurethane on, sprinkle some play sand or silica sand lightly while your polyurethane is wet. It'll give it just enough of a Texture. tooth. Yep, just so people aren't slipping on it when it rains. You know, that's not good. And how much, <laughs> and how much would that run you? This, um, <clears throat> this rug here to create yourself is about $25. Compared, Compared to, to the $775. One, $775. So a $750 difference. You can create, I can create a lot of rugs for $775. You could go into business. You should be selling them for yeah, that sake. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so. I think this is brilliant. We're going to put step-by-step -step all of the project how-tos on our website. Uh, thanks on, to our beautiful friend, friend Michelle. And now, mm. <laughs> snack of the day is literally being run in as we speak. <laughs> Michelle, will you hold this for me? It looks yeah. really good. The snack of the day is called Zen Crunch, Ew. and it's from the Zen Rabbit Baking Company from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Thank you, Zen Rabbit. Yeah. Thank you to the great state of Florida. Grab a snack for yourselves. We'll be right back. Don't leave now. The big reveal in our biggest loser makeover is less than five minutes away.